Alright, Scouts 311 here, back with Nino Kuni, and we are about to start. We have a couple of side quests that we're going to finish up here before we continue story-wise. Um, we have the King of Curries. We need to get ingredients for him. We need to get the Sheik special spices. We got the rice and the beef already. And to get him to make it, we have to kill this number one guy. He drops one of the things we need for him. And the Babana Thief is just another quest that we have. Bounty. So we might as well knock that one out too. Because that's how we roll. And we got our girl with us now. And we got our old man. But I don't think he's actually going to do anything with us, for us, like fight. Because that's where we need to go for the quest. That's where one of our hunts are. Okay. And the other hunt is way the hell up there. Jesus. And over here in the mountain area is actually where the spices are. So let's start with that. Tutorial time. It's always something. Watch this. Nice. Who leads when the battle starts? By pressing L1 or R1. Okay. So we just start with her. Wow, they just got even more um, involved. Oh, he's just kicking ass. Well, what does tactics do for us? Do what you like. Give it your all. Provide backup. Keep us healthy. Don't use abilities. Don't do anything. Okay. And we can attack a different target. Attack leader's target. Attack weakest target. Wow. Alright, cool. Don't move. We'll do attack weak leader's target. So then the leader always kind of gets it going here. She has songs. Restores health. So people get an XP. We didn't even bring our guy out that time. It's okay. <laughs> okay, switch your familiars around. Okay, a type of mirror to get on especially well with. Really? Alright, that was just a whole bunch of crap. So friends and familiars. They tell you who you get along good with? I just said hit square. Oh, hit square here. Oh, okay, it's flashing. So he gets along with him. He's just him. He's just him. And he gets good with her. So there's really no reason to switch it up right now. 
So we'll leave it as is. But to see how it's flashing up there? Alright, so I actually did read about that. They get a 10% bonus to all their abilities or whatever. Something like that. 10% to abilities or 10% to damage. And I think it's all their abilities. So we gotta head to that volcano I got lost just now. There it is. We gotta try I wanna try to get these things first. Forged. Right, so it looks like she has she actually has a separate hit points and magic. So you know how your familiars take your magic and your hit points as well. Hers is uh different. But she's like blowing through her mana like crazy, which kinda sucks. Bane flower. That's not what we need. We need to head south. I'm way there. That's where we gotta go. All right. So these things we need to forage are somewhere over here, but in this mountain area. Hopefully, we don't have to go that far in. Yeah, run, bitch. What's this place called anyway? Smoky Mountains. I like the smoke as I know. Alright, so her guy leveled up and he can only have two heal and thunder spark. We're just keeping those. Thunder spark is the one that we've needed. Some of the shock spells. First guy we have that actually do those. There we go. How many of those do we need? I can't remember. I can't remember if we need more than one of them now. Fuck. Alright, so I'm gonna try to get this last one over here. Or one more. Shit. Alright, so Esther died that last fight. We can't go past this. Okay, so we got two of them. That's, hopefully that's good enough. Um, yeah, she died, but she also leveled, so she still got experience. So, that's kind of interesting. And, so by leveling, she got all her stuff back. She blows through her mana like freaking crazy. Alright, so anyway. I'm pretty sure that's all we need spice wise, so we need to go ahead all the way up here to kill that guy, and then head all the way over here to kill that guy. So I'm gonna head over to those areas, and then right before I fight him, I'll be back and then uh, see how we do. Okay, so here's the guy we gotta fight. Let's get this forage point first. Glow caps. Alright. We are like low on mana though. It's crazy because she's just a mana whore. That's what she is. She's a mana whore. Okay. Um, we do got two of us, but that doesn't mean a lot the way it's been going. Well, let's see what happens. Come on! It's one guy. Go wild on him. I do this bad ass. Oh man, Lamal is bad ass when he uses that go wild move. If it's somebody who's not resistant to physical damage, turmeric root. That's what we need for the. That's what we need for the spice guy. All right, so there's one more bounty, and he's in the whole other side of the damn world. So I'm gonna head over there and get him. So we'll see you over there. Okay, so our hunt is down there, but there's actually a hidden treasure over here that since we haven't been here before, I didn't try to get it. And it should be right around here somewhere. No. No. Okay, yeah, it's supposed to be right here. There it is. 
glass. Two pieces of shadow glass. Alright, so we got those pieces of shadow glass, which is nice. And now we need to head around here. Alright, see if we can get there without running into anybody else. He's right there. He's running fast, too. Adam and Tiger. Sure. Alright, so I tried to fight this thing and it beat the ever living piss out of me and killed me. And I haven't saved in a long time, so I had to continue, which means you lose 10% of your money. So I lost 390 freaking gold because of it. And it starts you back at the city. So I just saved to make sure if I do, you can just start from your save. Remember to save before you fight these guys, because this guy beat the piss out of me. I didn't expect it. I did figure out that he's weak to pulse, though. So I think the best thing to do is to just overload pulse on him with my boy here, because he just beats the crap out of everybody. And he can stagger him, as you see there. So that's the goal with this guy. Pulse over and over again. Go in with full mana. I tried to like do a normal fight, and it was very... It was over really fast. He hits hard. But now that I figured out this is the best way to do it, this is how I'm going to do it. He's obviously with the pulse. He's... Nito! Oh man, I, he it kicked my ass. He like killed me so fast, I had no idea what was going on the first time. So because that happened, basically Oliver was dead before I knew what was really going on. And I didn't. Ha I don't have a phoenix down or whatever it's called in this game. So I'm going to make sure I buy one. Because they're like 500 and I don't want to spend it because I'm stupid. But since I didn't have one, I had no way to get them back. And, uh... What's her name? The hell is it? Esther was way too weak to do anything. Because her familiar... She was out of mana. It was bad. Get away from me. So you can outrun when you get that ability. You can outrun a lot of these guys if you, if you want to do that. So anyway, it was really bad. I died. I was very upset. So, now we're back. And it was simple if you just pound him with uh, Pulse. It was an easy fight, actually. But when you're not sure what to do, it was not easy. Alright, so we should be able to go back to this guy now. Oh no, I got here, three of them. I'll be back. Okay, so I went all the way back to the volcano, because there was only two there last time, if you remember, those spices, and they don't respawn, so I'm assuming maybe you can't finish this quest yet. Because there's like a broken bridge over there, and I could see more of them across the bridge, but I'm not able to actually get to the bridge over the bridge at this time. So I think you probably have to go back later to do it. That is what I'm assuming. So that kind of sucks because I spent a lot of time waiting because they're supposed to respawn every 15 minutes, but they aren't respawning. They only show up for the quest, and it doesn't seem like they're going to respawn. So as long as the quest is underway. They show up. So with all that being said, it's kind of frustrating because I didn't know that. Um, but we can claim the bounties we have. So we got five bars of milk chocolate for our boy, 200 guilders, and enough stamps to go up with another one. Nice. And Babana Thief, 300 gold and flame robes. Set of flame robes, 300 guilders. Okay, that's pretty awesome. So now we can claim one of our level 2 merit rewards. Now, which one do I want? Sneak up behind. I think I'm going to take the additional restorative glimpse to appear during battle. That could help. Fights are starting to get a little more difficult. So I'm going to go with that. We still definitely want this one. We want all of them, actually, but 
Well, we definitely want this one. Next, I think. I guess it really doesn't matter, but yeah, I'm glad we got that one out of the way. Okay, so there's no more bounty hunts because I just did that and nothing popped up since we because we did the bounty hunt. Alright, so that I guess we're gonna have to do later. I guess. Uh, it's frustrating. Uh, maybe I'll take one more jog, on, jog, jog out there since I came back to town again, but I don't think it's gonna work. So, anyway. We're going to stop the vid here. I have no idea how long this vid is because I've done so much running around. Right now it's at 47 minutes, but hopefully I can cut that down to a reasonable time of all my running around. So, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you all in the next one. Take care.